Welcome to another Digital.ai continuous testing demo. In this video, we'll take a look at our Playwright integration. In my local computer, you can see that I have a sample Playwright project. Playwright describes their tool as enabling end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. Here's my sample project in which I have the specs. I've opened it from my IDE. In this spec, I have two tests. The first test is a simple test that is supposed to pass. In my second test, I have intentionally created a step which we expect to fail. In the Playwright configuration.js, I need to make sure that the video is set to on. This is the only requirement needed to run Playwright testing in the continuous testing cloud. Now that my project is ready, I will compress the entire project into a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and post the REST API to trigger the execution. I'm going to use a POST command called executions, and I've added my authorization to it. In the body parameters, I'm going to define the type as Playwright, and in the project, I will choose the file that I just compressed. In the configuration, I can define the different browsers and versions of those browsers that I want to run. In this case, I've chosen different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. I'm now going to start the test by clicking on Post. You can see that the test execution has started and I can immediately get the test run ID. I can use this test run ID to track the status. I will use the get API which we are providing to track the status of that specific test run. I can see that it has requested three browsers for testing. They are running and the current test run state is listed as running. Now I will try to query the test execution status again. You can see that all the tests have finished executing on all of the browsers. Now I can use the link to the reporter to see the test results. You can see that out of the six tests we have executed, three passed and three failed. I can also use different group by options to better see the status per browser name. I can also filter with the status if required. And I can expand the test results to take a closer look. So I'm going to open up a test that has passed. We can see the detailed steps along with the recorded test video. Next, we will open up a failed test as well to show you how the reporter has been accommodated to add the stack trace as well as the video of the failed test. That was the Playwright test integration by Digital.ai Continuous Testing. Thank you for watching and have a great day.